Lesson 16.4a, Variable Data and Statistical Questions. A statistical question is a question that has many different or variable answers. So here's some examples of statistical questions and non-statistical. So statistical would be, how many tomatoes grow on a tomato plant? Well, the answers vary. How much did you water it? How much sun is it getting? What type of tomato plant is it? Or how much does candy cost? What type of candy? How much candy? The answers can vary. For non-statistical, we'd have how many tomato plants do you have? Well, you know how many you would have. That's a one answer. And how many pieces of candy do you have? You could count them. You could say the one answer of how many you have. We know a question is statistical if there's more than one possible answer. If someone asks a question and we respond with mm, usually between blank and blank, or if we say, well, it depends, or if we say it varies, then we know there's more than one possible answer and it's a statistical question. If someone asks us how many tomatoes grow on a plant, we can ask them cherry tomatoes. You'll have a lot of those. There could be 10 to 20 on a plant. Is it a huge beefsteak tomato? Well, then there's only going to be about four or five tomatoes on one plant. It depends. It varies. So let's play a little game. Statistical or non-statistical? So statistical would be the answers can vary, and non-statistical is there's one answer. We've got these cards here, and we can move them over to the question. So, what is your current height? Do you think that's a statistical question or non-statistical question? Do you think the answer is going to vary on what your current height is, or do you think there's one answer? And if you said there's one answer, well, you're right. You're only one height. That would be a non-statistical question. It's got a concrete answer. What about this one? What is the most common height for a tree? What do you think? Can you give one answer? Or do you think the answer would vary? Well, if you said vary, you're right. It's a statistical question. It depends on the type of the tree. And how much does a typical newborn baby weigh? Do you think that's statistical or non-statistical? If you said statistical, you're right, because babies don't all weigh the same it would vary. Some babies weigh a little bit. Some babies weigh a lot when they're born. How about this one? How many seconds does it take for a sixth grader to run 50 yards? Do you think there's one answer or do you think the answers could vary? If you said vary, you're right. Not all sixth graders run as fast as each other. So that's a statistical question. We can use the word survey as a noun or as a verb. As a noun, it's a formal or official inspection, a study, a poll. And we can survey a group, collect data, and record the results. So people could fill out a questionnaire. We could observe and record data. A survey as a verb means to view or examine something. We can find the answer to a statistical question by surveying and recording data values. Then we can identify the mean or median. How much does a typical newborn baby weigh? We could survey new parents, obstetricians, or pediatricians, record the data, and find the mean or median. We could find the answer to a statistical question by observing and recording data values. The more data we collect, the more accurate the results. How many seconds does it take for a sixth grader to run 50 yards? We can time a group of sixth graders with a stopwatch, record the results, then find the mean or median. We finished the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, making a dot plot. A dot plot would be one way to record our data values. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and Join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.